Today we're using the sous vide technique on shrimp. I know what you might be thinking, but shrimp are so quick and easy to cook the normal way. That's true, but they're also very quick and easy to overcook the normal way. Don't worry, the sous vide preparation is relatively quick, only 20 minutes, and while our shrimp are cooking, we can make an amazing side dish to go with them. Let's set our immersion circulator to 141 Fahrenheit and get started. I have half a pound of peeled wild gulf shrimp here. It's up to you whether to keep the tails on or off. Go easy on the salt. Shrimp are naturally salty. Add a dollop of romesco. The video for how to make the Spanish roasted pepper sauce is below. Of course, romesco is optional, but so delicious. I also like to add a little butter. If you can't have dairy, use olive oil. Mush it all together to distribute evenly over shrimp. Fold over a Ziploc bag and add the shrimp. Arrange them in a single layer. This is very important for even cooking. I like to line them up. This way they don't fall on top of each other as easily. You might want to support your shrimp as you lower them into the water. Keep the bag completely open to help the water push the air out. Lower it all the way to the zipper and zip. Cook for 20 minutes. While the shrimp are cooking, set a skillet, any type will work here, of a medium heat. Add a glug of olive oil, one sliced garlic clove, and a pinch of red chili flakes. Cook stirring frequently until the garlic just starts to turn golden. Add one can of drained black beans or a bean of your choice. If you want to learn to cook dry beans, I'll give you a link below, but we're trying to keep things quick and easy here. This is supposed to be a weekday meal. Add a dollop of romesco. In my romesco video, some of you asked what to do with it, so here you go. Add it to random savory dishes and observe an improvement in overall happiness. Add some golden raisins. I soaked mine in hot water for five minutes and drained, but if you're in a rush, don't worry about soaking them. Add some pine nuts and stir everything to combine. Add a few handfuls of spinach. I bought washed baby spinach to save time. Cover for about a minute to help spinach start to wilt. Is it wilting? No? Well, let's just stir it around until it does. This takes about two minutes. Now the holy trinity of taste. Acid, salt, and fat. I'm using lots of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, please, even on a weekday. Stir, taste, and adjust. As Chef John says, if it doesn't taste good, whose fault is that? Our shrimp are done. Try not to keep them in a water bath longer than 30 minutes or they'll start turning to mush. If using little shrimp, I wouldn't go above 20 minutes. Let's pile them on top. I often get a question about what to do with the juice from the bag. Shrimp is one of the few cases where the juices are fantastic, so pour them right over the shrimp. By the way, that is not true for meat. The meat juice that accumulates in the bag does not taste great. And if you try to heat it up, it can form disgusting gray foam. So I would not recommend adding it to your pan sauces. In case you're wondering why I chose 141 Fahrenheit as my temperature, let me show you. This shrimp are opaque and very tender. I tried lower temperatures, but they ended up being a bit translucent and stringy. And above 141, they tasted overcooked to me. You know what I need? A kneading for the camera class. All those other channels make the food disappear in such an attractive way. This is the worst part of the video for me. I'm squished here between the camera, lights and reflectors. Everything is falling off my fork. I know it might not look it, but this is a killer dish. A restaurant could easily charge $30 for this entree. But this could be your dinner on a weekday night. There's almost no chopping and all you'll have to wash is one pan. Yes, I cheated a little and made romesco over the weekend, but there is no reason why you couldn't cheat in the same way. This video was brought to you by viewers like you. If you liked it, click here to support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell button for notifications, and if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.